translation. So first thing, check out your user settings under the dictionary. How do you treat numbers? If you treat numbers as text, it's a little bit different. Uh, so here I have this setting. And at the translation level of my project, I have a brand new dictionary that has English and uh, is set to source being English. I go inside the project. I have a few texts here. Most of these texts uh, that we see here and there are actually not translated. So if I go right mouse click here, multilingual, you can see that there is no German translation. I pick this up and I say, okay, translation. Uh, import project text uh, English into the dictionary and what it does it just created these text in my dictionary so I imported all the different texts that we have so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export in a uh, tab format here the uh, I'll call it uh, test export dictionary and this is actually saved by default into my translation. Uh, and I want to export both languages. So this primarily gives me the export of my dictionary, which only contains right now one language because I actually never translated it. And now I hand it over to the translation people. Now translation people, when they take a look at it, they have here the uh, test export dictionary. I open it and when I open it I'm gonna open it here with uh, Microsoft Excel let's say. <coughs> the Microsoft Excel gives me all these text. I take the text and I basically just say test uh, and the test will be test 1. So in some cases, of course, this will be fine. I'm just going to work out a little bit the numbers because I'll explain to you a little bit how the numbers work. The numbers work with a percentage value. So that's basically your value, your number value. So if you put a percentage zero, that means you have one number. If you have multiple numbers, like test number uh, zero, then you have a dot, then you have a number one, then you have no others. That will basically do the translation. It will transfer whatever numbers are there into the zero and one. So here, uh, percentage zero and same thing, VAC uh, and so on. So we can continue. And the ones that basically do not have numbers, we'll just won't have it. I'm just going to close this and of course it's going to ask me if I want to save it. I save it. I keep the same format. And uh, here, text uh, Unicode uh, pilot project, of course, it's going to save. Uh, where do we want to save? Under my documents. Here we go. Uh, let's put it under my drawings. There we go. Roll into my drawings. So technically I have it here under uh, documents and <coughs> my drawings. Here is my file. The file, if we edit it with a text file, you can see how it's actually structured. All right. So this now can be imported back into ePlan. I'm going to import the same documents, Roland Jung, documents, my drawings, and I have to call in the text file. This, uh, my source language is English, so that's my recognition for the different words. And then we can see how it got inserted in my 24 VDC, as you can see, picked up 24 VDC, control voltage, test 34 because I didn't do it, address 41, etc. So we have <coughs> these that actually came in. Now if I run the translation again, here under translate, and you say please translate the whole project, what happened is you just basically went into every one of these words and you added the translation. So that's perfect. So we can actually check out a few different ones that weren't translated before because of the settings that were wrong and they are now all translated. This was the ePlan 